a time for generosity with friends, family, and charitable giving. Joining us for some tips on that is Jill Schlesinger, financial expert. Jill, welcome. Great to be with you. Jill, there are so many charities requesting contributions at this time of year. How do you handle that? Is there a way to say no? First of all, embrace no. So now, what do you do? You get your short-term game plan. Mm -hmm. So you may have already had in the back of your mind, I make a contribution every year to X charity. Then also leave a little miscellaneous because you know what? You're probably going to want to do something, whether it's your local public radio station or whatever it is. But have that down and yes, please be willing to say, no, I'm so sorry, I'm already committed. Tell us about tax advantages. Uh, well, what kind of timing matters? Well, the year end is a big deal, the calendar mm -hmm. year end. And what's really important here is that if you make a pledge, it's one thing, but it has to actually have been completed before the year end if you want to get a tax deduction. It's also really important that you give to the type of charity that is actually seen by the government as a charity, a 501c3. Okay, now if you get a donation request, how do you know if a charity is legitimate? Don't give on the phone, okay? Get everything in writing. Then you can go online and check with Charity Navigator, the Better Business Bureau. You want to see that this is a legitimate charity before you start forking over your money. Are there any particular scams we should watch out for? Unfortunately, yes. I mean, this is one of these hot issues. We see a lot of scams around police benevolent or firefighters associations, and the most dreadful one that I think is around veterans associations. But the reality is don't just give, do a little work, do a little digging, make sure your dollars are going where you want them to go. Jill Schlesinger, great advice. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's so much fun. Thanks. Ooh.